Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from my Jesse so today we're going to be finishing off Eton DC1 drive where we're going to be running out the drive today and remote control using that two button speed control and multi frequency setup and if by any chances you missed the last videos where we run the first the commissioning video with the local run and then we did the another video for remote control 2 3 wire control and also using a, a speed control potentiometer those videos is going to be in the description below and also all the manuals related videos and everything else that i think is going to help you out in any way is going to be in the description below so without further ado let's get started <music> Here we go ladies and gentlemen, so the first station we're going to be using in this video which is going to be two up and down button speed control the station is going to look more or less like that we'll have a forward run, reverse run and then we're going to be using up and down buttons to go change the speeds and uh, and and yeah and, so, and, that. and for that we need to change some uh, parameters and the first one we need to do we need to make sure that uh, the parameter 12 is a 2 no oh, not that one parameter 15 is at 0 and another one we need to change we need to disable the button from this function as default in stand it will try to it will ask you to start the button start the drive from here so we need to do, you can change that function to do that you need to go to parameter 31 and when parameter 31, you just need to change that to 2, and that will allow you allow uh, disable these uh, start stop buttons. And again, we'll be looking from start signal from a uh, digital input uh, 1. So I uh, haven't done that. So uh, that is uh, regarding what we need to do with parameters. And regarding the sensitivity, actually, actually first let's go through the wiring. I'll show you the sensitivity of the buttons after that. So the wiring. For it is quite straightforward. The power comes to our uh, normally closed contact, goes through normally closed contact, and then sends the power to all of the uh, normally open contact. This is our e-stop in here. So uh, the start signal is going to be a digital input. Uh, well, let's go. Let's talk through terminals. That will be terminal two. Will be for our start button. So the terminal three and four is going to be uh, up and down respectively, and terminal six is going to be changing direction of the drive. So the motor spins the other way. So that's pretty much when it comes down to wire and they all come down here. So uh, that's that. So let me put uh, let me put the cover on and we'll see how that works. So here we go. So the cover is on. So uh, if you put in a, a start button, so you can see the drive goes on. It's looking for a frequency. And to change the frequency, as you can see by pushing the button, now you'll be able to control your frequency from uh, the buttons and the same goes with the uh, with the uh, up and, and down and sensitivity of your buttons let me just turn this one off is directly proportionate to your deacceleration acceleration time so uh, let's go down to which parameter is that I believe that's the P3 Yes, so uh, if you change that back to about five seconds, okay, that one, and decent as well. So now that's changed, so it, and I will show you how that works now with the buttons with sensitivity. So now we put the back into the, as you can see now I'm holding and it's going up a lot slower. So the higher the free, the acceleration, the acceleration, the less sensitive the buttons are going to be and so if you want to go to, uh, in the reverse you still need to have a uh, here we go you can change the directions while the system is on so as you can see so here we go and once you remove the remove the uh, uh, the start button the frequency returns back down to zero i believe there's a parameter you can you can save it in 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 uh, in uh, uh, eprom but that's something i'll leave for you guys to to find that out so that ladies and gentlemen is how a uh, set up to mlp speed control next up is multi-frequency setup as for the multi-frequency so we need to make a couple of changes and the first one we need to make sure the p12 is at zero oh 
root over shoulder. So P12 is a zero. And once we've done that, this is where the choice comes in. There's quite a bit of choice in here, so we're gonna go through most of them. So the one I am gonna be choosing is a, a run, a start forwards, and then it's a bit zero and bit one. And then I also is gonna be selection F maximum in here. That pretty much will give me the whole five speeds if I wish to, and I'm gonna show them how to set that up. But if you want only just a three speeds, you can go all the way down here. So you can see down there a bit, bit more. So you can see you can run forwards and then you can run in a reverse, no down this in a, the, the direction change in here by selecting a closing the, the terminal three. And, uh, and and then you can have a bit, bit zero and bit one. So bit zero, bit one, speed one, bit uh, one is gonna be speed two, and bit zero and zero uh, and, and one together is gonna be your speed three. And also there's another choice in there. You can run forward, run reverse, and still get another three speeds in here. So hopefully hopefully that gives you a sort of understanding how uh, to work with it. We are gonna be going for the max uh, speeds where we can get. So the speeds can be changed. The forward signal, once the, once the run is gonna go into, is gonna be the first one, which is gonna be determined by parameter P20. I'm gonna leave that as a zero because I don't want uh, anything to start and I'll select the speeds afterwards. So I'll keep that as a zero. At the moment, I don't need it. And then obviously P20, uh, 21, 22, and 23. Let's, let's put the 23 at uh, something like 40. How about that? So. So there we go. So uh, between P20 and P23, this is going to be all your speeds where you need to set them up. So, uh, and then let's just leave. And then when it comes down to wiring, let's go through that one as well. So we got the uh, normally close contact with uh, our 24 volt signal coming in, coming in through and then sends the power to all the normally open contacts. Our first contact was going to be a, a forward run a signal. That one's going to go to the to terminal uh, two. Then, uh, then is going to be our a, a bit uh, zero, which is going to go to terminal three. Bit one is going to go for terminal uh, four and a uh, max speed per as per gram that max speed is going to be a in terminal six the max speed is actually determined by a uh, by by uh, your max speed in in a parameter uh, p zero one so uh haven't said that so let's let's put all together and i'll show you how that works here we go. So the cover is on. So this is what this is gonna uh, look like. So the first one, as you can see, you can have this at any speed. I selected that at the V zero. So pretty much with the, this run signal is required for all the speeds to work. As you can see, they will not work at all unless that run signal is on. That's why I kept that one at zero. So uh, you put in a run mode. That will be your speed one. That'll be your speed two, more or less. But in my case, that's a speed one. That's my speed two. That's my uh, maximum speed. It will be at speed three. But if I want like speed four, that'll be my speed four. And obviously my run could be my speed five if I wish to. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that gets the message across. And obviously when you are in... Uh, it will remove the stop signal completely. So, uh, so that, ladies and gentlemen, will be how to set up a multi-frequency setup for uh, this uh, drive. So that will conclude. The one disappointing thing is is uh, when regarding up and down uh, MLP speed control, which is weirdly enough, it does require the start button, which does make sense in some way because uh, because of the when we, when we first video when when we are running locally, it does require that start there. But again, it, it's it's yeah something something for to to work out maybe in the future. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude this drive. It is fun. It's good drive. It, run, it works very well. So uh, good thoughts being put into it. And uh, manual is it could be better. It, it could be quite a bit better. It's it's a lot more explanation. There's two types of manuals. Both of them are going to be in the description below. Uh, one for installation. In installation, you can see a bare wiring diagrams but not much uh, for all other things that we are doing in here. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you like that video, please smash that like. If you didn't smash dislike, 
and uh, comment below uh, and as usual any questions and I'll answer them as soon and as accurate as I can. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.